Hello and welcome to In My Element. In this video, we're taking a look at the movement in cells. So have a look at this diagram. We've done it here in a representation of an animal cell. How do substances get in through this cell membrane and out? Any ideas you have, jot down on a bit of paper or if you've got your worksheet ready on your notes section of your worksheet. Now, diffusion is a process when um, a gas can spread through the air. Particles will move. So think about what happens if you had an aerosol sprayed near the doorway of a room, and if you were stood in different places. So if you were stood by the doorway, if you were stood in the middle of the room, or if you were stood in the far corner of the room, which one, which person would smell that gas first? That Whether it be um, an air freshener that's been sprayed or a deodorant, for example. And those particles are moving by the process known as diffusion. Diffusion also occurs in cells. We've got this diagram here that you need to be really clear on because as part of your work, you're gonna to have to be able to explain this process. And there's some really key terms you've got to use. So you've got a permeable membrane, which is the cell membrane. This bit here is the inside of the cell, like it says down here. This bit here is the outside of the cell. The permeable cell membrane allows substances in and out of the cell. Inside the cell, there's very few molecules. Outside the cell, there's a lot of glucose molecules. Glucose is just one example. That's the example we're using today. So where you've got a high concentration of glucose, that means where there's lots of glucose molecules. In this example, that's outside the cell. Inside the cell, you've got a low concentration of glucose molecules. So those molecules will diffuse from the area of high concentration to the area of low concentration. I'm just going to move myself a moment while we go through these. So the, the key words you've got here are the ones that you need to use to explain diffusion. You need to be clear that waste products are substances that need to leave the cell. An example of this could be carbon dioxide. Diffusion is the movement of particles such as glucose from an area of high concentration, where there is a lot, to an area of low concentration. When you're noting this down, if you think this is gonna be something you might forget, when you write the term high concentration, just put in brackets lots. And when you write the term low concentration, just put in the brackets not many, few, okay? You will need this um, keyword and definition in key stage three and key stage four, it's really important. Permeable, so the cell membrane is permeable. That means the membrane allows specific small particles in and out of the cell. We've talked about low concentration, where there is less of a substance. 